Resign now, Awa Secretary General tells Muhammadu Buhari, Hello, my wonderful people. The North is rising against Buhari, even in the North. There is a rise up against Muhammad Buhari because when something has failed, there is no other name called that is given than to be called what a failure. A failure is a failure. Muhammad Buhari came to us with a well-written speech that he was never part of. Or, you know, they defrauded us. We can actually sue this administration. On a more serious note, we were defrauded. What they said, as a matter of fact, even the vice president, every one of them, now I don't believe every, any word they say because they read out, was it scripts, well-written papers and all that. And they told us they were coming with change and Nigeria was going to be better. If for nothing, I personally believe the educational aspect that they were campaigning about. I was excited that students were going to get bursaries. Students were going to get, parents would be relieved to an extent. You know, there are some families that are really struggling in Nigeria. People are borrowing, doing all sorts of kinds of things, which is not morally right, just for their children to go to school, just for things to be well, things to be all right in the family. People have gone through a lot, you see. So, in fact, I was excited when I heard about the student part. But guess what? All lies. Now, the, our youth are saying to President Muhammad Buhari, resign. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you so much. Resign now. Awa Secretary General advises Buhari, Secretary General Awa Community in Delta State, Halaji Matuka Musa, has urged President Muhammad Buhari to resign from office with immediate effects from, for running the country to the ground. Speaking in an interview with Gaidian in Asaba yesterday, Husman said, President Muhammad Buhari has failed woefully in all aspects, security, economy, education, and others, his government is the most corrupt since Nigeria attained independence. President Muhammad Buhari has failed us in all aspects. Honestly, let him resign now because he is incompetent to rule this country. Many northerners want him to go so that somebody else can take over the country mandate of leadership before he plunged us further into hellfire. We are already in hell, lamenting the country's sorrow and sadness is unimaginable, he said. Take a look at the corruption in Nigeria kidnapping and killing, among other serious crime in Zamfara, Benwe, Kaduna, Niger, some western some west western states, and even Castina, his home state. You will agree with me that President Muhammad Buhari has nothing more to offer. And when the stage is loudest, you leave. Because if you leave any other time, there is nothing to be remembered about. He should leave. He has outlived his usefulness. There is nothing remaining for this man to offer. He has nothing. Please, see it with me. There is nothing remaining in this administration. It's all failed. He recalled that Pohari promised heaven and earth while seeking power. Some of the pledges include youth empowerment, securing the nation against terrorism and banditry. But today, none of the promise has been fulfilled, not a single one. Nigerians are dying in silence, but pretending that all is well. Whereas you and I know that many people cannot afford to buy rice in the market. Yet, he shut the border and put the keys in his pocket. He's a wicked man. He said some families cannot even afford to buy gari. Gari, they used to be... They used to be cheapest food stuff in the market but today we are in hunger he said he noted that sadness that buhari has turned this country into is a laughing stock among other nations go and see ghana they cannot believe this is happening in nigeria they hear the story and they are wondering is this the same old nigeria nigeria that was the pride of africa it is a shame saying everything has collapsed beyond imagination for Nigeria and for Nigerians. To be swimming out to be swimming out of this troubled water, Usman advised Christians and Muslims to beg God for forgiveness and always pray for the country for unity and beg God to take Buhari away from us so that we can have proper true leadership direction in this country. Today Muhammad Buhari is not the one 
again that we used to know all the one in power things must change and they must change fast it's about time wow so this is um the our youth in a uh, delta state that are speaking and are saying muhammad buhari has failed us what other name do you want to understand what other word do you want to call it what other word do you want to give you know it, it's important that people begin to understand people begin to say it together and say it as with one voice muhammad buhari has failed now these are muslims that are talking about it you know and are saying he has failed there is no other name given to fail failure is a failure muhammad buhari should humbly you know humbly just resign Okay, he should just humbly resign. He should just humble himself and resign and just let it be, you know. But guess what? That's the problem and the trouble in this country. There are people here who will not want him to resign because of their, you know, the selfishness that is going on in Nigeria. Oh, my brothers, my sisters, you will weep. The selfishness level in this country, you will weep. The way people are selfish, you know. So people, they know that this man is, in, is, in, is, is uncapable. Is incapacitated, you know. Somebody who has dementia cannot give a decisive, rightful judgment, leadership, yet they keep him there. What for what? Because they will be the ones signing out the millions, committing all the hilarious crimes, and nobody will be able to say anything to them. It is a shameful occurrence of what is going on. My own point and my, my problem with this matter is the vice president is a is a is a law, is a lawyer not just a lawyer he is going to school he understand the perimeters of law he knows his onions okay the vice president in this country is a renowned known lawyer somebody who has studied law knows the the the, the rules and regulations of nigeria more so he's the vice president what is he doing about a man that is uncapable to rule the nation why is he quiet is that not aiding and, 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 you know, supporting the evil that is going on? Is that not, I mean, because in law, okay, if you have a knowledge that this person is going to commit this kind of crime or harm this person, you know, and you do nothing about it, you do not inform the authority, you do not inform the person, they call it, they call it you are aiding crime, they call you an accomplice, okay, there is a name it's called, and listen, it is punishable in law. It is punishable. It's not something you can just put up and say, it's not my business. No, no. Ignorance is not an excuse in law. So guys, what do you think? Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.